Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday morning, August 14th. First thing we're going to talk about today is China. They had some really, I'd say, quite sanguine, or in other words, quite shitty numbers last night. Industrial production at 6. Instead of 6.3, retail sales 8.8 .8 instead of 9.2, unemployment rate 5.1 instead of 4.8. Why? Why did China print these, these lower numbers? I say why do they print these lower numbers because I think we all know that China prints whatever numbers they want to print. Um, my guess is they want a reason to lower rates and lower their currency try and compensate for possible tariffs uh, in the future. So, dollar yuan looks like could uh, could be heading higher over the next weeks. Uh, so something to, something to watch there. Back to G7. We're kind of mid-range now. We've got UK average hourly earnings today. Let's look at cable. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After eight red bars, we hit a a bearish green bar inside day, but still closed towards the lows. Uh, this looks like it could change, could turn a little bit. Yesterday's high was one twenty-seven ninety-two. I don't know through the numbers if you get an inflationary number on the average hourly earnings that could pop um, markets very short cable so let's keep an eye on that 127.90 and this is just a a data trade I'm not recommending long cable uh, from here but uh, over the data if we get a very hot number through 90 looks all right Get back to euro, more interesting. Uh, this 115 break is still in play. Now we're going to do a little bit of a sideways dance. Um, some short term stops are going to be located above 114.30. Uh, for me, this is a sell. You can, today you can sell 35s, 55s, and 75s. Um, 115 is too powerful of a level to break first time if we head back up that way. So it's a light fade today. You want to sell high ones in euro dollar. Let's take a look at the Aussie. These terrible numbers in China uh, had very little effect in the Aussie. I, I think you can see the market is very skeptical that these these ec numbers are not real. China is just doing this on purpose. So you had very, very little move in Aussie, even though you had really crappy Chinese numbers. This looks like we're going to squeeze up a little bit as well. Um, the fade point here is a little bit higher. You're going to have uh, risk and stops above 20. If you remember on Friday, an hour before the London Open, it was 73.50. That was the number. This right here. We never saw it again, um, and for those of us who are lucky to sell uh, 49s, we'll remember that one. This is now your resistance, so your 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 sell zone is between 40 and 50 today. Far away, uh, so patience is the key. Let's look at the Nasdaq. How fucked up was that yesterday? That move up to 74.79. Jeez Louise. Amazing. Anyway, we're still core short, but we're getting a bit nervous here. Uh, we think this is a turning pattern here. We don't think we're going to make a new high above 75.30. We're going to view this 71.70 as a neckline, and this is where we'll be adding. Have to see. 
very tough uh, getting short stocks, as everybody knows. Um, Got to be disciplined on this uh, and make sure you, you make your cut where you need to. Our plan's in place. Our position size is correct. So we're not too jaded about it, but just a shocker, I got to say, that move up to 80. Anyway, uh, we'll see. 74.39 now. Pretty quiet in the stock, stock world. What else is out there? Dollar yen. We got down to 11 yesterday, and as we spoke on the video, looks like there's some Japanese demand down there, plus the 200-day moving average. No trade in dollar yen now. The core short idea has been nullified. So now we would just sit and watch. If you wanted to, you could probably sell a high one up at 111.30, uh, which would be the death knock on this trend line here. But let's just sit tight and be patient for now. Euro sterling for these UK numbers, not much going on. Sterling yen, the same, same sort of setup as cable. Through this high is the equivalent of. Uh, 127.90 in cable. That's probably just for the numbers only. Anyway, it looks like a quiet-ish start to the day. Um, I want everyone to resist the impulse to walk in and hit a bid in euro dollar, which has kind of worked. Uh, obviously, the last three days in Europe, and let's just let this settle and see where it wants to go. There are quite a few indications that we're going to have a little bit of a squeeze today. So just be patient. Uh, and if you're core short with your stop above 115, good for you. Um, you got to own that idea. I think it will pay. And, you know, sit through the daily grind of foreign exchange. So for us, well, we're going to be nimbly looking to get short again. We're square at the moment, and we'll just see how this day goes with the focus at 10.30 Swiss time on the UK numbers. Good luck out there, people. Oh, wait, Bitcoin. Forgot. Bitcoin's getting smashed. We talked about this before. Um, this 5,200, uh, this 5,200, 4,200, 3,200 play is in play here. 5800 looks like it's going to break today or tomorrow. Deeply think about this. Run the P&L scenarios. I think your stop has to be below 1,000. So price it accordingly. Whether it's one coin or 100 coins, price it accordingly. Um, and this is going to be the capitulation move in Bitcoin that's going to break some hearts and make a lot of headlines so be ready for it people good luck out there ciao